The weather's no good out there today, so here we are doing a little bit of tackle time instead. Today I want to show you guys a really simple stray lining rig that I quite often use when I'm targeting really big snapper. It's a pretty simple rig to tie and it's super effective. Now, I like to use this rig when I'm using whole baits like a, a whole mackerel or a fillet of kawai. Um, it's super effective for targeting very, very large fish. Here's the tackle that I'm going to be using today. I've got a quarter ounce ball sinker. I've got a couple of little pieces of clear tube, although I'd quite often use Lumo tube, but I don't have any left. I've got a 6 baro DX hook, and I've been experimenting with circle hooks a little bit lately, and I've recently landed on these KLT circles, and they're performing very, very well for me. So I've got a 10 baro KLT circle, and I'm using 60 pound fluorocarbon leader. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my size 10 hook and my trace line. I'm going to thread my trace line through the eye of that hook and about an, take about an inch of that trace and lie it down the back of the shank of the hook and pinch it between the thumb and forefinger of my left hand. Then I'm going to grab the trace line just above the eye there and start to wrap it around the shank of the hook nice and tight and I'm going to do about seven or eight wraps working my way down the shank of the hook nice and tight keeping them nice and snug and lined up. Now once I've done my seven or eight wraps, I'm gonna pinch them off with that left hand, and then I'm gonna take the other end of my trace line, and I'm gonna poke it through the back of the eye of the hook and out the front, and I'm gonna pull that all the way through until the knot snugs down. Now there's actually no choke point in this knot, which makes it an extremely, extremely strong knot. Um, it's important to note at this point that your line is coming out through the front of the eye of the hook which will make it sit towards the line. I want to space my two hooks out just far enough so that it's a suitable size for a large piper or a medium sized mackerel. So I've cut my piece of clear tube to about the right size to cover that gap. Um, I use the clear tube just as a piece of tube protection for the snapper's teeth. So next thing I do is I thread on that piece of clear tube. Next up is the second hook. I've been using these size 6 DX hooks. These are awesome little hooks that are super super strong. They serve their purpose for this rig very well. I take the end of my trace and I thread that through the back of the eye of the hook and out the front. And I slide that hook down into position. Keeping in mind again the type of bait that I'm going to be using with this rig. Like a whole piper or a mackerel. Once I've got that hook in position, again I want to pinch that trace line between my thumb and forefinger down the back of the shank of that second hook and hold it in position. Then I want to take that trace line just above the eye of the hook and again wrap it around the shank of that hook doing seven or eight wraps nice and tight to secure that into position. Once you've got your seven or eight wraps nice and snug there again pinch it between your thumb and forefinger and take the other end of your trace line and thread it through the back of the eye of the hook and out the front and pull that all the way through until it snugs down into position. All right, that's your two hooks secured into position. So now it's just for the finishing touches. So take the end of your trace line and thread on your second piece of tube. Slide that all the way down into position above the second hook. Finally, take your quarter ounce ball sinker and thread that onto the line as well. Now here's a useful trick that I only learnt recently. Once you've got that ball sinker all the way down into position, take the end of the trace line again and thread it back through the eye of the sinker a second time and pull that all the way through. So the little bit of clear tube or lumo tube that I usually use just helps with a little bit of tube protection from the snapper's teeth. And putting that double wrap around the ball sinker stops it from sliding up the trace and causing any problems. I hope you guys find this useful. Um, let me know anything that you guys are doing different. Cheers.